Central banks have created a debt-based system which was designed to be infinite. However, there are cycles which cannot be properly managed. They're manipulated and controlled. Debt eventually engulfs the companies and balance sheets of investors, spreads to the retirement accounts of innocent people, and seeks to wipe out their savings. This punishment will continue, and there's no way it will turn around. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today, we are going to cover many different issues. I want to touch on a little bit of everything, but they're all connected because of central banks and their actions. So let's begin by taking a look at G. Ease stock. You probably saw what happened. This stock here has increased by 7% in one day. That's the one day chart. If you look at the five day, you can see the spike immediately upon opening. And then we look at the one month and you can start to see that that 7% doesn't exactly mean too much, especially when we go year to date. It has been punished overall. Now, of course, you saw the stock go up by 7%. Obviously, there's been big changes here, right? Obviously, there's been huge headway. The problems have been fixed. The issues have been corrected, right? No, of course not. GE shares surged 7% after JP Morgan analyst who called their decline says the stock's bottom is near. Can you believe this? This is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Because of some analysts making a prediction, the stock doesn't rise a quarter of a percent, a half a percent, maybe even 1%. No, 7%. Absolutely unbelievable. The stock market is broken and it's simply looking for a place to drop some money, not even for a day. These are intraday trading that's happening. People are gonna get burned. Then we go over to the ECB. They kept their interest policy the same. Does that surprise anybody? They didn't increase the rates, they didn't decrease the rates, they kept them nice and easy. Well, this is a policy that has destroyed Europe to begin with, and this area is going to suffer continuously until they fix their underlying issues. They believe that by creating an easy monetary policy, that it's going to be accommodative to the companies, but of course, that couldn't be further from the truth. If there are companies out there that need Need to fail the best thing to do is to allow them to fail regarding non-standard monetary policy measures the net purchases under the asset purchase program will end in December 2018 they are claiming that they're gonna stop the money printing in 2018 well we're gonna see what happens obviously this goes in line with the global quantitative tightening that is taking place less and less central banks are printing they're either stopping what they're doing and keeping it at the same rate or they are starting to wean off of it and allowing the debt or whatever it might be to expire so it depends on the country it depends on where you look but of course it is basically the same program happening everywhere central banks supporting companies supporting the markets if you remember back in the financial crisis you had the collateralized debt obligations well this article here is talking about the collateralized loan obligations a whole heap of garbage and let me read this to you investors are pulling back from bonds backed by riskier corporate loans raising pressure on highly indebted companies that have enjoyed easy access to the 1.3 trillion dollar leveraged loan market in recent years we're talking about markets so big they could in fact collapse any corporation any institution but of course you don't hear about this because it exists outside of the realm of the normal financial media they're not going to talk about it in the respect of it being a threat so until the day where it's smacking people in the face they're not going to know about it leveraged loan investments have grown popular because they pay a floating interest rate positioning buyers to receive higher returns as the fed tightens but with investors ratcheting back expectations of the u.s central bank rate rises the leverage loan market has been losing appeal look we're not even anywhere near where they need to be and they're already pricing in the fact that the fed is going to stop increasing interest rates look if the fed doesn't continue to increase interest rates we know that this is the top 
and the market is going to come down in the near future. That is historically what happens every single time. They get to a point, they keep the rates there, and it goes for a few months, and then the recession hits. This occurs every single time. So you better hope that the Federal Reserve needs to increase further from this point. Otherwise, the clock is ticking. The impact can be seen in the pricing of investment vehicles backed by leveraged loans, loan known as collateralized loan obligations or CLOs, which pool expected you have i just want to just read this listen to this i don't understand why this is allowed to exist and it frustrates me and it steals the words from my mouth clos which pool expected payments and divvy up slices known as tranches based on their riskiness you got a whole heaping pile of derivative garbage and it stinks and it is polluting the rest of the assets which includes your deposits Nobody wants to admit that, and everybody is fearful. Car sales in China continue to decline in November, placing them on course to mark their first annual decline in 28 years as homegrown brands from the state-owned manufacturers struggle to compete with foreign rivals. We are talking about a massive decline here in China. Can you believe it? It's happening now, all because of the trade issues. Is that surprising to anybody once you have geopolitical risk, once you have tensions, once you have all of the fragility appearing, you're going to have problems. It's pretty obvious. China passenger vehicle sales year over year change. You can see it's moving into the negative according to this. Obviously, it's been falling down since the peak that was experienced around 2009, 2010, and it's been coming down ever since, looking quite weak in the last year. The next three pieces of information are regarding hedge funds, estimated number of funds launched or liquidated from 96 up until present. And you can see right now that the blue line being launched and the red being liquidated. If you look at the current numbers, you're seeing 450 launches. We haven't had a number this bad since the year 2000. That's how few are starting up Today, it's not a good sign if you think that the financial system is going to be strong and you're going to have growth there, you're going to have new players coming on the field. That's not what's happening. Look at this. All of these are those having problems today. And you see on this list everything from Goldman Sachs, you're looking at Macquarie is in here, Paulson's in here, there was a few other names that I had recognized, T Boone Pickens is in here, and there are a few that are part of this weakening financial sector. This happens to be one. Another hedge fund veteran is quitting a brutal market. It just shows you another example of that. That's it for that. I just wanted to give you an idea of what's happening in the hedge fund sector. Alberta's output cut may be driving oil prices too high. What did I just read? Can you believe it? A minute ago, we were just talking about the fact that Canadian crude was too damn cheap. Now it's literally too expensive to sell. How did we get to this point in such a short period of time? Well, they had these mandatory production cuts and apparently it worked a little too well. Alberta's heavy oil traded at about $41 a barrel on Tuesday, about $9 less than the U.S. Gulf Coast, according to traders and the data that they compiled. Now, this is important because what you're seeing right now is an attempt at central planning, and it failed. You can't do this. You need to be able to allow it to fail if it does and you can't try and support it on the way up and support it on the way down and control how much this person can pump it's not a good idea it's not gonna work and you're seeing the failure taking place today in such a short period of time it must have been a week maybe that they started this and immediately it had a dramatic effect this is the chart that coincides with that just wanted to give that to you I'm going to end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. If this was too much and you had a headache, then please give me a thumbs down. Either way, you support the channel. And last but not least, if you want the financial education you were not taught in school, these two books have it all. You can get all the details you need right here in these two books. This is an education you simply did not get in school. And instead of it costing you $40,000, you're going to learn 
everything you need to know about how to manage your own money for 30 bucks between these two books. So that's all. Check them out at the link in the description if you prefer the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com. If you're still here, I just wanted to show you this. When I logged in to my account, I got this message. On December 13, 14, you may see a noticeable decrease in your subscriber count as we remove spam from your channel. So I'm just bringing that to your attention, not just for me, but if you see other channels out there seeing a rapid decrease, we'll see about this. I never played any games because they're saying, you know, if you paid for subscribers or whatever, then maybe that's going to affect you. I never did any of that funny business because ultimately it doesn't make any sense. So we'll see what happens on my channel, but that's all. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Thank you all for watching and subscribing and checking out this information every single day. Take care.